Hi, this is Mike Griffith. I'm with the Atlanta Journal Constitution and SEC Country. I'll be covering Tennessee football. And uh, I'm here with Ryan Johnson. He's the first commitment in the class of 2016, now a signee. And Ryan, uh, in just a couple of weeks, you're going to be graduating and you're going to be reporting to Tennessee. Where's, where's your mind at right now? There's got to be a lot of things going on for you. Definitely. It's definitely going 100 miles an hour right now and I'm going all sorts of different directions. But uh, right now, I'm just trying to... Uh, get ready for college, get through high school. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a couple more classes left. I've got till Friday and then I'm done. And so I'm just trying to work out, get some sleep in there, somewhere in there along the lines and uh, just trying to finish out high school. You know, I was going to ask you, you know, reporting on, you know, graduating and reporting the same day. And of course, Tennessee will go right into their off-season workouts. I mean, obviously there's some pretty amazing expectations for this team. What are you doing to stay ready at athletically? I know you've got this 4.7 grade point average. How do you maintain that and keep yourself sharp physically where you'll be ready to compete at Tennessee when you get to campus? Well, um, I've been doing a whole lot of working out. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm in track, so I okay. also do that. Uh, I uh, run the 400, uh, but I also throw shot and disc. And so uh, uh, I try to do a lot of running, a lot of working out in the weight room. Uh, just trying to get stronger, get quicker, get faster, and make sure that I'm, I'm ready when I get up there to uh, hammer out the weights. Okay. Uh, now, you were at the Big Orange Caravan Stop. Of course, Butch was all over the, he's been all over the state. He was in Nashville as well as Memphis. You went to the Nashville Stop. Tell me what going to the Big Orange Caravan was like and, and the effect that Coach Jones has on these crowds. Uh, what did you see there? Well, uh, first of all, it was just great seeing a bunch of ball fans being there and how supportive we are as a fan base that just to see Coach Jones come and talk mm -hmm. uh, about the season just is amazing to see how many people come and turn out to those events and to see the way that the fans love Coach Jones and to see how great of a coach he is and how uh, great support that he has is just amazing to feel as a, as a future player for Tennessee. It's just it's a great feeling. Now, I was going to say, you know, this, this, this club is riding a six-game winning streak. The expectations are sky high. I mean, everyone's expecting uh, Tennessee to win the SEC East Divisions. I, I've got to think those type of expectations, I mean, they, they can be intimidating, I would suppose, but you go into Tennessee into a program with these type of expectations. I mean, how do you, how do you put that into perspective? How do you deal with that, being such a young guy, going to a place where the expectations are so high? Well, you know, I, I don't see it as a challenge. I see it as an opportunity. I see it as – a uh, advantage for me because I've got people who are like-minded and work extremely hard and know how to win and know how to succeed and I've got amazingly talented athletes all around me that can help me get better and that can push me when I'm I'm on my last leg and I'm sitting there going I need to do one more bench press or I need to do one more squat and they're sitting there and they're encouraging me and they're they've been there they've done that and they've they've been on their last leg and they've been on their last win and they know how to push as hard as they possibly can to get that last point. And so that's that's what I'm really excited about is having people around me that are like-minded. I know Ryan's 6'6 six, six and 290. You heard him say he runs the 400. Uh, obviously you're a sub 5 uh, 40 guy. What are the expectations? I mean, Tennessee's got a, a good offensive line and um, certainly you're a, a tremendous prospect, but what are the expectations that you have for yourself uh, on the football field and off of it as a freshman at Tennessee? Well, my uh, motto, I, I guess I should say, uh, in whatever I do is to work as hard as I possibly can to leave every ounce of sweat, blood, everything that I put on and put into it. I leave everything out there. And I, don't, I don't come off the field and say, oh, I wish I could have done this, I wish I could have done that, or I could have just given a little bit more here. Uh, when I finish, I'm I'm done and I've, I've, I'm spent, and that's what my goal is: is to put whatever I have into everything that I'm doing. What whatever comes out of that, and however it goes, I'll be I'll be happy with it because that's the best I possibly can do. And so that's my goal: is to do the best I possibly can do in this this next year that I'm going into. Well, Ryan, certainly expectations for you are going to be high. I know that Butch Jones is excited to have you. Tennessee fans are excited to have you as well. This is Mike Griffith from the Atlanta Journal-Constitution and SEC Country coming to you from Ryan's basement. Uh, it's been an interesting interview. Thanks for the time, and uh, check us out on AJC.com and uh, SECCountry.com.